Yeah, it's recording. Yes, I know. <laughs> Do you look pretty? Yes, you look very pretty. Oh, no, that's my angle. <laughs> uh, the other side is your better side. There you go. I hit my neck. Okay. Hi, guys. Water is running. These are my twinkles. This one just started opening up. This is the one I'm keeping. And so, um, these are the two that I'm gonna gift. I figured I might as well repot all of them at once. I got these things right here to repot them in. And then, the ones I'm gonna do as gifts, I'm gonna put them in here so they fit. And then they're really cute and I got some Tinsels to try to decorate it, and I got little tiny gift bags that can go in. So we'll see. It's either gonna look fabulous or sketchy. <laughs> it's gonna look fabulous. They're getting a plant. I'm gonna stick them in the ceramics and Lekka, and it's gonna be hydroponics. Since it's already hydroponics anyway, but more so. So hopefully, my friends don't kill their plants and they can have them for years to enjoy throughout the season. Let's get started. Let's unpop these suckers. Oh, I got this one. I like this one. I like the snowman. He's cute. These I got everything at the Dollar Store. The Dollar Tree. Not sponsored by the Dollar Tree, but open to that. If they're watching. <laughs> hmm. And this is the other one. I don't like it as much. But it had to get it was hard to get the right size. That would fit the little containers. All right, that's trash. All right, let's do this one first. I'm gonna take the tag out. So this is the Insidium Twinkle Sunlight that I just got not that long ago, before the tragic death videos. Any happy videos from now on? Okay, let's take it out. Oh, that's easy. It has. Styrofoam, bark, perlite. This is um fertilizer that's slow relief stuff. Let's clean him out. He looks good. Let's try to get everything out. In between. I might give him a good soak before I pot him up. Make sure the roots are nice and flexible and I like to clean everything out. He's got a lot of slow release in here. Oh, this is good. Let's pull this guy out. Yeah, that's garbage. And I think that's it for this guy. The sheath. That's a root. And oh, there's more inside. Yeah, I'm gonna have to soak this guy and get him really well. All right, so that's this guy. Sprinkle. Oh. Oh, this one already was coming out of the pot and I already threw out most of the, the stuff it had. It's got a new growth right here. And let's get rid of whatever I wasn't able to get rid of. It's a good thing I got rid of most of the stuff already. It makes it so much easier. Oh, another new growth right there. Look at that. This is a great one. That's good. I have to get rid of all the little dead things I can get out. Critters like to hide inside these things. So, I think that's it. Let's see if I can get this guy. Alright. So, he needs also a good soak. And I think I saw a little crawly on him. One of these guys has some little thing crawling on them, so... I'm going to soak him very well and I'm going to hit him up with hydrogen peroxide. Make sure they don't have anything because you know what happens if they have stuff. <laughs> this is the last, this one's heavy. This is the one I'm keeping for myself. I can. Yeah, he's got packing peanuts. These make good drainage. Like if you're using, um, bark and, if you're using bark and moss and you need drainage, these things are, they're really well, like you can mix that in with your bark and moss 
and it does provide aeration not drainage aeration all right this guy I'm going to have to soak him because I can't get this stuff all right, out. So I'm back I cleaned these out as best as I could I got out almost every moss or something I can't get but that's okay that's perfectly fine the big guy is soaking because he's got he's got stuff in there so I let him soak so I'm gonna start putting these up I'm gonna figure out I think this guy in here like that and this guy in here I think would be perfect yeah all right I guess I'll do the big one first so I'll put this on the side I potted up the two plants and I made sure that the new girls have room to come out. And then let's decorate these suckers. So yeah, I literally went to the Dollar Tree to Dollar Tree. Let's see if I can, <laughs> if I can do anything. Okay, I'm glad this is going to someone else's house and not mine. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like this. Something like that. Right? This is a tinsel mess. <laughs> but it's all about how pretty it looks at the end. How's that? Like it threw up tinsel. Does it really look like it threw up tinsel? <laughs> I'm not a tinsel person. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> you know somebody really not that smart is going to water it like that. That's why I put some of the clay pebbles on the bottom. <laughs> that way if they water it and they leave the tinsel on, at least it's not sitting in water. We should do an experiment. Can tinsel kill your orchid? How's that work? Can't even see the cup. I would have done the red for that one. For this one? Yeah, put it in the other cup. I put some. <laughs> All right. Does that look cute, or does it look like I'm broke this year? So I went to the dollar store. What? Yeah, you want me not to do tinsel next year? Don't do tinsel. They're from me. <laughs> it's still Sunday, I'm gonna work with. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make like a little nest. Do I need this? Um, yes, we do. Wrap it around. It looks cute ish. I think that's too much tinsel. Mm. Divide your tinsel. <laughs> Swear to God, I am anal enough to like separate each individual strand and <laughs> adjust it accordingly. That's a lot better. Alright, so I actually went through, I straightened up all the tinsel because it was a hot mess. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> I'm not Martha Stewart, but still, I think I can do a slightly better job than what I did. So I straightened it out, and then what I want to do is I kind of want to make it look like it's a nest. So, let's see. I'm definitely not doing tinsel next year. But, let's see. So just wrap it around. And I kind of want it a little bit tight so I can fit it in the mug. First, it looks pretty because then I can fluff it out. Let's see. Let's try to get most of the loose strands inside like that. And then I am going to make little humidity trays for these guys too. So I can give them to my friend so that way when they take it out of the mug, they have it doesn't drip water all over the place. It makes it easier to water. I think something like this is a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better than what it was before. 
And then I got space. I can tuck in some little candies, I think. I might get some little candy canes and put it around. And just have the little canes coming out all around it. I think that'd be really cute. And there's that. And I have the space. I can do a couple candy canes. I probably can't get that many in here. I get. Yeah, I can probably do about four candy canes. The little thin ones. That would be really cute. And that's about it for this guy. My extra tinsel. Yeah. So. That looks a lot better. And then I'm gonna put them in little baggies. So, it makes it easier to transport. Make sure your little holiday baggie is big enough to fit the mug. And he's gonna get a little card. I'm gonna make a little tag for him. So he'll look cute and presentable. But yeah, that's a lot better, see? Oh, and the little growths are there. You can see the little growths. This one back here, he's got a little growth right there. It's kind of cute. So that's, this one's done. And then if you don't like the, you can always trim these. If I decide I don't like them, I can trim the excess that's dangling off. Or I can just let it be. Uh, yeah, it's a lot better than the hot mess it was earlier. <laughs> okay, next guy, let me fix this guy. Oop. I picked him up wrong. take them out of the bag. Just put them in the bag, it just pops in, but take them out of the bag. I make sure I don't grab them from here. Make sure I grab them when I pull them out, I grab them from up here. Or else I'll just ruin the whole thing. <laughs> and that's it. So I might get some little candy canes. Maybe stick one or two in here and it'll keep it more stable inside the mug. I don't have any right now, but I can get some. And that's it. That is how I'm going to gift these and of course, I'm going to write a nice little tag with what it is so they know what it's called. That's it. So that's my little, these are the like two twinkles I'm going to give away. And I still need to repop my twinkle for myself. I'm going to stick them in a little decorative baggie. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to get like a nice chocolate bar that I can stick inside the bag with these. And maybe some little marshmallows. I can make a little thing of marshmallows. And, um, and a little packet of hot cocoa. Those little single serving hot cocoa things stick it in there and so they get like a full gift and then I just gotta do is write their card and that's it hope you guys like this video <laughs> it only took like six tries okay <laughs> but at least now they're silent all right thanks for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe I'll see you guys soon all right <laughs> bye so don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'll see you guys soon and enjoy the holidays bye guys Those are his feet. So great. This, oh, the sealable bag. <laughs> you should totally put that in your hair. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, I could put tinsel on the thingies. Like, no! <laughs> poor Those black. poor spikes! <laughs> gonna kill it before it even gets to anyone. Listen, if it dies in their care, that's not my fault. <laughs> How dare they kill some of the things that I gave them? <laughs> and that's about it, really. Make little holiday labels. Oh, let me put them on the back. I'll do that for later. It'll be a picture. I can take it closer. Ta-da! And then I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.